angry voices banging at your door. What do you do? You call law enforcement, right? But what if those voices are law enforcement? Eight deputies in DeKalb County, that's the Atlanta area, are now under fire after they raided this home back in July, and the two brothers inside the home recorded what went down. And here's some of the video they've now posted on YouTube. It's about 1.30 in the morning. They're still banging on the door. I told them over and over again they're at the wrong address. They keep yelling out 4663, and that is the wrong address. They are not at the right place. You're not at the right place. Please stop. There are about four or five officers outside in, the, in a bunch of cars. They're shining bright lights in my home. We're very scared, and we've called the police. We've called 911. No one is telling us what they're here for and what the reason of this is. We're very scared. We just want to be have everything documented. You hear that? Calling the police on the police. This family says they did allow the officers inside, fearing they would ultimately break down the door. Here's what happened next. I haven't done anything. I haven't done anything. Mommy. I'm a Christian woman. I haven't done anything. What are you doing? What are you doing? So we have two. So you saw part of the transcript, part of the exchange there. Sonny Hostin, let me bring you in. Darren Kevinoki, let me bring both of you in here. Uh, attorneys, um, wow. Darren, beginning with you watching sort of the before and the during um, can you just tell just by watching that did the deputies do anything illegal well it certainly seems that way if in fact they were at the wrong right. home as it appears that they were the the way that they behaved is absolutely disgusting and when it comes to law enforcement agents, we need to hold them to a higher standard. We expect them to have cooler heads. We expect them to behave appropriately in the face of all kinds of craziness. And when you see this tape and you see that it's actually these law enforcement officers that are fueling the craziness, it's, it's, it's disgusting, and the county better be prepared to write a big check, as far as I'm concerned. They need Please to pay for this one. Uh, let me stop. talk about the county before, Sonny, I, I come stop. to you next. We know that uh, we, Please CNN, has reached out, out to the DeKalb Please County stop. Sheriff's Please Office. Please we haven't gotten a response, Please but here is what a chief deputy door. told our Atlanta open affiliate, WSB. Just stop. Our deputies were at the residence legitimately on a valid arrest warrant. I suspect that there will be some disciplinary action. Sonny, what do you make of all of this? Wow, you know, I, I think what we saw on the videotape is probably every homeowner's, you know, worst nightmare. Um, someone coming into your home, not explaining why they were there, not having a, a, a warrant or at least showing a warrant because as, as I think Darren will tell you, your home is, is, is your castle, it's, it's your sanctuary. So you cannot go into someone's home, even to effectuate an arrest without an arrest warrant, um, without a warrant to search the home. And so I, I, I suspect that, um, uh, Darren's completely right. We're, we're going to see some big checks. We're going to see um, some disciplinary um, action. But what I saw, what we're not showing is these officers go on to really try to humiliate these two young men, one of which keeps on saying, I'm a college graduate. I'm just trying, uh, the, you know, it's my right to ask you these questions. And so I, I, I think uh, there is a lot more at play than even what, what we're seeing going on here. Brooke. What are your rights as the person? Person on you know on the inside of this home when you have law enforcement banging down the door in this manner Darren what what can you or can you not do legally well 
look, your home really is your castle. It really is right. your sanctuary. So certainly there's what you're legally entitled to do, which is to, generally speaking, to keep law enforcement out unless there is a valid search warrant, some legal authorization for them to enter into your home. There are certain warrants that do allow the police to enter into your home forcibly, but unless that's produced, then you have the right to, to keep your castle safe. Uh, but all of that said, there's the legal and then there's the practical. And mm -hmm. that's the thing that's so offensive here is here these homeowners are doing the right thing by trying to engage in a meaningful dialogue with law enforcement. They called 911 to see who it was that was there and to actually send the police to talk to the sheriff to let them know they were at the wrong home. Right. And instead, these sheriff's officers were threatening to tase, were doing things that were insulting, were using language that would cause us to hit the bleeper button over and over and over again. This one was so out of bounds. And this is why people are scared of government. I think about our last conversation about the NSA. Mm -hmm. This is exactly why people are distrustful because of these kinds of abuses of power. It is disgusting. And can you imagine if it hadn't been videotaped? I mean, thank goodness we're right. sort of in the era now when you can use your phone right. or you can use whatever you have and, and actually have proof of this right. kind of encounter. I suspect these ki kinds of encounters have been happening for years, yet we don't ha you now know, we have the video proof. have proof. Now we have the video Please proof. Stop. This is stunning. Um, and this story is not going anywhere. I'd love to talk to the people stop. who took the video and I'd love to hear more from, from the deputies as yeah. well. Sonny Haas and Darren Kavanoki. Thank you very Thanks, much. You bet. Fires burning.